Hello people of the internet, another video during these peculiar times. We've been in a lockdown for two weeks now here in the UK and um, everyone's trying to kind of entertain themselves. So I thought, what can I do to maybe help people who have enough of putting together jigsaws? Because there's only so many jigsaws and so many series you can watch until you go bonkers. So welcome to a Film Trivia Corona Quiz. So there will be five different games and each game will have five questions and for each correct answer you will get one point and at the end of the whole quiz I will reveal to you all the answers so then you can give each other points or just give points to yourself if you're all alone. Here we go, round number one. Round number one is all about naming characters. For each character you get one point. Number one, name Tom Cruise's character in Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. We've all seen it, but you know. Number two, name Bruce Willis's character in Die Hard. Number three, name Jim Carrey's character in The Mask. It's, I mean, one character is The Mask, but the main one was... Hmm. Next one. Name Samuel L. Jackson's character in Pulp Fiction. We need name and surname, the whole name, the whole title. And the fifth one, name Johnny Depp's character in The Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, on to round number two. I will show you a GIF that is quite popular, or several of them, and uh, you will have to name the film that the GIF comes from. GIF number one. Hmm? So we all know the actor. What's the film? Number two. This is a tricky one, you might think you know it, but, um, well, I'll leave it up to you. Number three, mm, is it really that film that you think it is? Because there's one that looks really... S okay, I won't, I'm not... Um, I'll, sh I'll shut up. Number four. And number five. Too difficult, too easy, I don't know, maybe let me know in the comments what you think. If it's too easy then the next time I'll make it a bit more complicated. If it's too difficult then tell me and I'll... I won't make it easier because then what's the point of the quiz, but still, you know, tell me what, what you prefer, in which direction maybe to go. Okay, round number three or game number three or whatever. I will quote a quote from a film, quote, quote, and you will tell me which film it belongs to and a special three quarters of a point if you can name the character that the line belongs to or the character that said the given line. Okay, we ready? Number one. This one's really simple. I'm really just giving it up to you. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Leave the gun. Who said leave the gun, take the cannoli? It's a very, it's a very nice scene. There's a car parked and there's like a field and there's a. I'm, I'm helping too much. Man. Number two. I drink your milkshake. Drink your milkshake. Was it? The Tarant it wasn't was it the Tarantino? Mm. Sorry, no, okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Number three. I am big, it's the pictures that got small. I am big, it's the pictures that got Number four. This is your life and it's ending one minute at a time. This is your life and it's ending one minute at a time. Hmm. Who said that? 
And number five, I know this is a silly question before I ask it, but can you Americans speak any other language beside English? Hmm. Okay, the next part, part number four, might be slightly tricky, um, but very, very interesting. I will show you on the screen a freeze frame and uh, you will have to guess which film it's from. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. I don't know why I'm saying this, but this time I could just show the numbers on the screen and then, yeah, anyway. And the last one, number five. Okay, we made it to the last part and this is pure, pure film trivia and for every correct answer you will get one point and a quarter. How about that? It's pretty cool. It's, I'm, I'm feeling very generous today. See, it's, it's, it's just, you know, I'm all heart. We, we, I, I understand, I feel you, I feel you. Question number one. What do James Bond and Adolf Hitler have in common? What do James Bond and Adolf Hitler have in common? Question number two. After filming Don Juan de Marco, Johnny Depp and Marlon Brando became quite good friends and it turns out that one of the last films that Brando's ever acted in was also directed by Johnny Depp. Can you name that film? This is a... Um, not many people have seen this film, it's a bit of a bitch to find, but um, yeah, it's definitely out there. Next one. A very famous scene from Indiana Jones, which you can see right now, actually had originally a very, or a quite complex sword fighting choreography. Can you name the reason why it ended up like this? Number four, what do Halloween and Star Trek have in common? Halloween and Star Trek. It's more, it's, it's, it's more than you think. And the last one, Futurama's character Bender Bending Rodriguez is named after which character from which film? Bender Bending Rodriguez. Okay, time to count the points. The reason I'm laughing is because I recorded this like five times and I keep screwing it up. Anyway, let's go to the answers. Answer number one, Tom Cruise's character from Mission Impossible is Ethan Hunt. Bruce Willis's character from Die Hard is John McClane. Stanley Ipkiss, Jim Carrey's character from The Mask. Samuel L. Jackson was Jules Winfield in Pulp Fiction, Jules Winfield, and anyone who wrote down that Johnny Depp's character was Jack Sparrow didn't get any points because it's... Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. It's to be the whole name, the whole title. This is Jean-Claude Van Damme dancing in The Kickboxer. This is Robert Redford in Jeremiah Johnson. Now this is not Zach Galifianakis. It's um, Robert Redford. This is Gone Girl. The Rebel Without the Cause with James Dean. This one is Boogie Nights. Next one, the quotes. Leave the gun, take the cannoli was Clemenza in The Godfather. Leave the gun, take the cannoli. Daniel Plainview in There Will Be Blood said, I drink your milkshake. I am big is the pictures that are small is Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. This is your life and it's ending one minute at a time was said by the narrator in the film club 
So um, yeah, that's, that's the actual official name of the character, the, the narrator, or Tyler Durden, if you want, but he's the narrator. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. <laughs> and Ingrid von Hammersmark in Inglorious Bastards were, was asking if Americans speak any other languages than the English. I know this is a silly question before I ask it, but can you Americans speak any other language than English? Buongiorno. Okay, let's storm through another set of answers. This frame was from Jurassic Park. All adventurous guests, of course, can opt for our jungle. This one belongs to In Bruges. What exactly are you trying to say? What exactly am I trying to say? Is there a bunch of fucking elephants? This one is Casino Royale. Then we have The Prestige. In the box. And of course, The Birds. Okay, last set of answers. What do James Bond and Adolf Hitler have in common? It's the Walter PPK, which is the gun that Bond is using in every film, except in a few ones when they swapped it, but then they gave him back. Walter PPK. 7.65 mil with a delivery like a brick through a plate glass window. Man, Adolf Hitler shot himself with the very same gun. The film that Brando acted in and was directed by Johnny Depp, it's called The Brave. Look it up on IMDb. Maybe watch it, it's, it's, it's actually quite an interesting film and Brando is actually really, really good in that one. Not that he was bad in others, but... Are you afraid to die? The reason why Indiana Jones simply shot that guy and did not uh, go into a sword fight is because Harrison Ford had a terrible case of diarrhea. What do Halloween and Star Trek have in common? The mask of Michael Myers is actually the death mask of Captain Kirk. So um, basically it was molded by um, Shatner. And the last one, Bender Bending Rodriguez, was named after John Bender from The Breakfast Club. There we go, that's the end of our quiz. Um, I, I don't know how many points you managed to get, I hope as many as possible. Please uh, leave the comment and let us know if you won and then how much points you managed to get. And as I mentioned before, let me know if, it's, uh, if the quiz is too long, if it's too short, if it's too difficult, if it's too easy. You know, I, I want to make a few more, so let's see where we get with this. Thank you very much for watching, stay sane, um, don't go crazy and please, please be kind to one another if, if at any time now uh, is the time to be. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.